Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I will be tackling this mess behind me right here. <laughs> um, so I have purposely let my hijab um, section go for a particular reason. Now, since 2020, last year, I have made it an absolute mission of mine to become minimal in my fashion sense. Um, I can literally, I'm so proud of myself because I can literally count on my hands how many times I went to the shops and bought, you know, new clothes that I didn't necessarily need. Um, so that was something really big for me to kind of do. And I have been working on my wardrobe for a while now. I've done a massive, massive declutter and I'll be sharing my whole wardrobe in the next video, hopefully. But for today, I'm going to be focusing on my hijabs but it's pretty much the same concept. Um, I have used a grid mesh metal kind of display that shop fitting places use to store certain things. They use them as like, yeah, it, it's a, you can get it from a shop fittings um, place. Now, I, to be quite honest, because it's quite large, I felt like I needed to fill it up. So I was always buying hijabs. There's a lot of hijabs that I don't wear or I know that I'm not going to wear, but then hope that one day I'm going to wear it. Now, yes, it's true. The more hijabs, the better. You know, it can never go wrong. However, with the whole aim of me being minimal and decluttering and trying to be as simple as possible in my fashion sense, um, I want my hijabs to be just that because I've noticed that I wear... I love my neutrals. So once you have neutral hijabs and, you know, the few um, pops of colour, then you're set for all your outfits. And because I'm very simple in my fashion sense, my hijabs are pretty much always, you know, on repeat. So what I decided to do, a couple months back, as soon as, you know, 2021 uh, started and I started on my wardrobe, I left my hijabs and I said to myself, what I'm going to do every time I wear a certain hijab, instead of putting it back into its little socket area, I'm going to um, place it on top of the hook. So once I'm ready to actually start my hijab organization and decluttering, whatever is on the top hooks over there, then those are the hijabs that I tend to use more frequently. And whatever is left in the sockets, then obviously I'm not using them, I don't wear them, and it's probably time for them to go. So as you can see, there's a whole heap, majority are neutrals, but there's a whole heap that are on the hooks. And what I'm gonna do today is literally go through every single one of them, create piles, um, you know, with which ones that I'm going to keep, the ones that I use, try to, you know, color coordinate as much as I can, um, and also a pile for donating. Um, and how I do this, is firstly i've got a really big family alhamdulillah so i firstly ask them if there's anything that they like i give to give to them um, and whatever is left i donate to charity so if it's in good condition as long as it, there's no wear and tear on it and it's usable then i donate it um to someone that obviously is going to benefit and use it um rather than me having it stored away and i'm like yes now i don't need it so um, yeah, so pretty much that's what I'm going to work on today and I thought the system that I'm going to create, I'll share with you guys a little bit in just a bit. Um, so let's get decluttering. So that's the current situation, um, gone through all of my hijabs and that's what the grid, the grid mesh um, actually looks like and I've just put like an overdoor, those chrome uh, hook things so I can hang it up so it's not fixed to the door and yes we have a mirror on my door and I think I would like that back <laughs> hopefully if I can store all of these in a way that would help. Okay so what I've done here is this section on the bed are, hijab, are the hijabs that I frequently use. So I've kind of color coordinated them with the green shades. 
um, the browns and the beiges and then I've got the peaches, the berry, um, the purpley tones, the pinky tones, greys and a little bit of blue. That pile is for donation and this is the whole bunch of patterns hijabs which to be quite honest I don't really wear anymore so I think it's time for them to go. Um, but that's pretty much the decluttering done. Um, but yeah, so now what I'm going to do is show you the system that I have in mind, which I'm hoping works. Um, but let's see how we go. So we've just taken off the grid mesh, which you can see at the back. And these rods, if you've followed my Instagram, then you would have seen me share these. Um, so I grabbed one of these from Ikea. I've been on a hunt for like inexpensive gold brass rods for such a long time um and they finally released what are they called the whole tarp range they come in an 80 centimeter and 60 centimeter um size so i've used the 60 centimeter for the kitchen um and i've grabbed some 80 centimeter rods and some gold hooks and hopefully this works so i want to put them on the the door so that they'll they'll literally sit each bracket on either side of the mirror um, and I'm thinking I might as much as I would love to still have some mirror exposed I think I'm going to have to use the entire mirror again which is okay because we've got a mirror that's here and I've got a mirror inside my closet as well so it's okay <laughs> um, so yeah hopefully this works I'm gonna test run it with one rod to see how it looks so stay tuned and wish me luck. With the result it's, it's exactly how I pictured it um, and even better I thought I, I would have needed it to use like five different like five rods I ended up only needing to use two um, and I love it I honestly love it and because you're using hooks you can definitely fit so much more on the one rod so the closer that you have the hooks together and you put things to, uh, closer together, the more you can fit on the one rod. But literally, I fit everything that I have kept on the two rods and I'm still able to fit anything, you know, the ones that I have in the wash or what I'm currently wearing. Um, and I still have some more of the hooks. But I am so happy with it. Like, so, so happy with it. It's so inexpensive, but it's still chic and elegant and... Ah, I'm so happy. Um, hopefully, you know, even if you don't wear the hijab, you guys, um, you can still use it for like your scarves, your fabric. If you're a crafter, if you love your crafts, you can, you know, 
ribbon. There's just so many different ways to use these rails along with the hooks. It's just thinking outside of the box and see how, it, how they would work for you. Um, but the fact that they're from Ikea, so literally everyone worldwide has access to them and they're super inexpensive is a huge plus. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and can't wait to share what I have done inside my actual wardrobe. Um, now I have used it on my door, but I mean if you have like a spare wall in your bedroom or in your, your closet, Unfortunately, I don't, so I have to utilize my door. But I mean, if you guys have a, a wall, utilize it, make it look pretty. These little, these rods are amazing. So can't wait to share with you guys my wardrobe and stay tuned for that. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and share with your family and friends if you think that this will help and benefit them. I'll see you guys next time.